Hey, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making barbecued pulled pork tater tot nachos, or tachos, and pink stuff. behind both of these recipes today. First of all, the tater tot nachos or tachos is an idea totally inspired by my friend Shauna. Her YouTube channel is called The Dickinson Homestead and we've actually collaborated before so I'm going to link to her channel below, to her version of tachos below, and to our incredible pancake collaboration down below in my description box too. Those pancakes were amazing. But anyway, I digress. The tater tot nachos is an amazing concept that I had honestly never heard of before. So she started with a bed of tater tots instead of classic tortilla chips. And for her tachos, she used smoked brisket and these ranch beans and all kinds of delicious toppings. And I thought this was such a good idea. So I put it on my meal plan for this week. She just did this video, I think last week. So I was ready to make these as soon as I watched it. And so for you today, I'm making a barbecued pulled pork in my crock pot. And then I'm going to season up my tater tots with some homemade ranch seasoning, and then sprinkle on some green onions and cheddar cheese and barbecue sauce. And they are super delicious. So you have to try this idea, even if you don't use the exact toppings that I do, just the concept itself of using tater tots instead of tortilla chips, I think is so smart and really, really fun. So for the pink stuff, this is a recipe that I saw Jordan Page from Fun Cheaper Free Make. And when I was putting it together, I started stirring it and I was like, oh, this is pink stuff. I think she calls it like fruit salad with Cool Whip or something. But my mom used to make a dessert very similar to this. I say dessert. You could call it a salad dessert if you wanted to. <laughs> but basically it's like a really sweet fruit salad. But the way my mom made it, it had I think cream cheese in it instead of cottage cheese and hers was frozen. So there's a bunch of different recipes online that you can find for pink stuff. But this one today is very, very delicious. So I hope you give it a try. So for my pink stuff dessert salad, I started by draining all of my canned fruit. And I had one can of peaches that I just chopped up with my kitchen scissors. Since my littlest kids would be eating this as well, I thought it'd be nice if it was in bite-sized pieces. I also had some pineapple chunks that I drained and some mandarin oranges. I also found about a cup of mixed berries in my freezer. So I defrosted those and drained those as well because you really don't want there to be any excess liquid in your fruit salad. And then I sliced up a couple of bananas too. The next step is to add about half a large container of cottage cheese. So this was about 12 ounces and you can add it as is or you can puree it in your food processor which makes it nice and smooth which is something I have never done before but I loved the way it turned out and I think this made the salad a little more appealing to my kids too. So I pureed it. You'll see here it comes out silky smooth. You could probably substitute sour cream in this recipe for the cottage cheese because it still has that tanginess, but it's a nice smooth consistency. So it just mixes in with all the fruit. So I added the pureed cottage cheese along with one package, it was three ounces of strawberry jello. And then I stirred that all together. Lastly, I added one eight ounce container of whipped topping and then folded that in gently until everything was combined. From there, I covered it with plastic wrap and popped it in the fridge until dinner time. For the pulled pork tater tot nachos, I used a five pound pork butt in my crock pot. I had sprayed the crock pot first so nothing would stick, and then I just seasoned the meat to taste with garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of salt and pepper and paprika, and then drizzled some barbecue sauce over top. And this cooked on low for about seven hours, and I flipped it halfway through. 
So for the tater tot component of our tachos, I used about a bag and a third just because I have a big family, but I spread them out into a single layer on a rimmed baking sheet and then I seasoned them up. And this was Shauna's suggestion, which I think is so smart. I buy seasoned fries or I make my own fries, but I never season up plain frozen french fries from the store. So I added like ranch seasonings. So I used garlic powder, onion powder, some black pepper, some dried parsley, and some dried dill. And they were really, really yummy. These baked according to the package directions, which was at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. Then I flipped them all over and baked them for an additional five to seven minutes or so until they were nice and crispy. In the meantime, I got my other toppings ready. So I chopped up some green onions and shredded some mild cheddar cheese. Once the pork had finished cooking, I pulled it out of the crock pot onto a rimmed cutting board, and this helps catch any juices that might drip out of the meat. And then I used two forks to just pull it apart, and it fell apart. It was super tender. And then as I'm going through, I'll just discard any little bits of fat that I might come across. But then I returned the meat back to the juices to keep it warm and moist until I was ready to assemble my tachos. So the tater tots had baked and the pulled pork was ready to be spread all over the top. And then I sprinkled it with cheddar cheese and green onions. And I also drizzled on some barbecue sauce. And then the tachos went back into the oven for a few minutes until the cheese was nice and melty. These barbecued pulled pork tater tot nachos, or tachos, were amazing. The smoky barbecue sauce went so well with the really tender pulled pork and the cheese and the onions. It was just such a great combination. These would be really good with some sour cream or ranch dressing on top. The possibilities are endless for how you top your tater tot nachos, but I just think the idea is so, so fun. My kids love these, and these would also be a great game day food too. So whenever you wanna eat these is fine by me. Just try them because you are going to love them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you like today's recipes, and follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe.